Hello everyone, welcome to Narasia Technologies. This is Hari Krishna. Uh, in this session, we are going to discuss about different operations performed on collection object. In last session, we have discussed what are the problems of array object. Array object contains around 4 problems. They are problem number 1, it is fixed in length. That means, once you create array object in future, if I want more elements to store, you cannot store. And already have stored some object, if you want to remove, you cannot remove. Second problem is array object can store only same type of objects. That means, if I create a array object to store employee objects, uh, it can store only employee objects. It cannot store like student objects or faculty objects or bank account object or car object, bike object, different type of objects it cannot store. And the next we discussed uh, array object is uh, having third problem, it does not provide any inbuilt methods to perform different operations. For example, I want to sort, I want to search, I want to remove, I want to replace. So, this type of operations not supporting. Yeah, replace operation will support, but uh, directly we will access. But remove operation, sorting operation, searching operation to perform, there is no inbuilt method. Uh, all the methods you have to develop by yourself. And the next uh, uh, we discuss fourth problem, array object by default will store the elements in, elements means objects or values whatever, uh, elements it, uh, by default array object will store elements in insertion order, it cannot store in different order and in different formats. So, to solve all these problems and now we are planning to develop our own collection. So, here are two options you have, you can develop your own collection or you can use Sun Microsystem given collection API. In projects, no doubt we are going to use Sun Microsystem given collection API, but from the interview point of view and to get more awareness on the collection programming, it is important you should also develop your own custom collection. Before launching custom collection, I would like to know what are the different operations I can perform on collection object. A collection object is nothing but simple background array only. So, what are the different operations we can perform on array object? That is the point I wanted to know it. Right. So, in the first session we discussed a collection is nothing but in simple words a group of objects, a collection is nothing but group of objects. Inside we have first element, first object, second object all. Okay. Try to understand, I have created a collection object, it is nothing but what a array object background will be created. What are the different operations I can perform if you identify, then all these operations we will develop in the collection, in our own custom collection and also in the future, Sun Microsystem given collection also we will identify. To solve the array problem, four problems, we are trying to develop custom collection as part of operations we are developing. What are the different operations you can perform on collection? Yes, there are totally 7 main operations you can perform on collection. How many are? Totally 7 main operations you can perform. What are the 7 operations? Let me list out first. First operation I can do what? Adding object. Okay. Second operation we can find what? I keep on adding, 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 adding. Addition operations completed. All objects I have added. Finally, I want to count. How many objects totally added I wanted to count. So, that is nothing but counting objects. How many objects I have added I must count. And the next after counting I added completed, counting completed. In future I want to retrieve. If you want to retrieve first of all you have to do searching object. Okay. And then next, once you search the object, definitely object may be find, okay, uh, object may find or may not find. If object may find, if it is find, then I want to retrieve, retrieving object, I want to retrieve object and then next I want, after retrieving, I want to remove the object from the collection. The next, very important, I found one object in the collection, that object I wanted to replace replacing object with another new object and seventh one is what? I want to insert more object, inserting object in the middle of the collection. So, totally how many operations you can perform on a collection object? Seven operations we can perform. Can you please try to recollect once again? What are the operations you can perform on collection? Do not look at the screen. Okay. Do not look at the screen. Try to talk yourself. You have to buy heart. If you buy hard, then programming is easy. So, come on, come on, come on, try to do not look at and try to answer. First operation adding, counting, searching, retrieving, removing, and next replacing, insert. Simple seven operations. 
Okay, I would like to take one small example. Okay, um, what are the real time examples we have learned in the collection? Do you remember the real time examples we have taken? What bag, bag, bag and uh, container lorry we discussed now. Let me take bag as an example. So tell me, you are a, let us say you are a, a school student. Okay, you are going to school. Okay, school going uh, person. Um, now you are around a tenth class. Let us say now school completed. You come to home. Then uh, okay, after school completed, doing some homework, all those things finished, and early morning you started going back to school. Then what are you doing? All the books, if you recollect your childhood, all your books you were throwing on the floor, different different place. Now early morning when you are planning to go to school, immediately what are you doing? You are taking all the books from the floor, and then you are putting inside the bag, na? That operation is nothing but adding. Placing a book inside a bag is nothing but adding. Bag is the collection object, and book is what object. So, adding or storing an object inside a collection is called what adding operation. So, my first book I have stored. Uh, like this, how many books are there? So many books you are storing. First book, second book, third book, fourth book, like that. So many books you have stored. So many add operations you did. Then finally, after all books you placed inside the bag, what are you doing? Do you rec recollect? Uh, simply, you are counting total number of books. How many are there? You know, tenth class means very huge number of books. Homework, class work, uh, next non detail. Oh, lot of books are there. Then you started counting. Around forty two books must be there for your tenth class. Then around all forty. Forty-two books you counted. Yes, all the books are there. Forty-two. Then you close the bag. Started going to school. Ha! Huh. Finding how many books are there inside a bag is nothing but what, sir? Counting objects. Are you following? Right. So counting is nothing but finding how many objects are there. So how many objects available in the collection object? Counting is nothing but counting objects. It's simple. Ah. Uh, then I have added uh, books to the bag, taking the bag and went to the school. Now the first. Uh, Period started. Let us say it is English subject. Then, once the English teacher come to the class, now he told open non detail. Now you are open the bag and started searching where is the non detail book na. That finding you are finding where the non detail book available in your uh, bag between the books you are finding. That is nothing but what sir searching object. Are you following? I hope. Okay, right. Uh, so adding means uh, storing objects. Counting means uh, uh, counting how many objects are available inside the collection. And searching object is nothing but finding one object inside a collection is nothing but searching object. Now non detail book found. Then what are you doing? You are taking that non detail book from the bag and started reading whatever uh, your teacher is telling. You are following. Taking the object from the collection out and storing in your local variable is nothing but what sir? Retrieving object. I have stored object inside a collection and taking the object reference from the collection, storing in one local variable is nothing but what we call retrieving object. Now I have taken non-detail book. Okay, it's okay, fine. But now I am using some rough book kind of concept. Let us say now I am uh, every day some rough work I am doing in the school. All the rough work is going on. Finally, one day I found uh, all the pages completed. It is not that much important book, na right? So the book is finished. Now I wanted to throw that book out. Then what am I doing? I am removing the book from the bag and throwing out into the dustbin. That is called what? Removing object. So removing an object from the collection. Uh, that means what? Removing object from the collection is nothing but the reference of available in the collection. We are removing. Okay, that is called removing object. I hope you understand first five operations. What are the first five operations? Recollect: adding object, counting object, searching object, retrieving object, and removing object. Adding object means storing object in the collection. Counting means finding total number of how many objects are there. Searching means finding the appropriate object in the collection available or not. And uh, next, uh, retrieving means taking the object. Object reference from the collection and storing in the local variable. Try to understand. Retrieving means one copy you are taking out from the collection, store in the local variable. Removing means you are removing the connection from the. I mean, say the reference in the collection you are removing. Reference from the collection removing that is called removing. Retrieving means taking one copy. Removing is completely removing, deleting from the collection simply. 
right then now i'd like to understand last two that is replacing object and inserting object what the replacing means already i have one object here yeah okay for example now english non detail book is available here this english non detail book i have taken out okay i have taken out from here and after reading 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 what the mistake i did in the hurry my friend book i have placed here not my non detail book some other some other person book i have placed existing object replacing with new object in the same position is nothing but replacing object i have already some object available inside that object place i am placing another object for example english non detail book is there that english non detail book place i have placed let us say some english homework book i have placed that concept is called replacing object are you comfortable then now tell me inserting object what the meaning of inserting object now i mean i have already four books are there here in the middle of these four books here i am storing another book that is nothing but inserting what is the difference between adding and inserting adding means always we will place at the end of last element that is called adding inserting means in the middle of the objects if you place one more object that is called in i have already bunch of books in the bag in the middle of the books i am inserting nothing but i am placing one more book that is called inserting so these are the basic idea on what uh, different operations we can perform on collection object so totally how many operations you can perform seven operations okay fine now i would like to tell you one important point here please try to observe sun micro system given collections totally we have four different types of collections number 1 set number 2 list number 3 map and number 4 queue four types of collections are there remember and in future i will recollect these five operations we can perform on all four types of collections set or list or map or queue okay we can perform these five operation on all types of collections but replacing and inserting these two operations we can perform only on list type collection we cannot perform on another type of collection we can perform only on list type of collection why we cannot perform on another type of collection why only list if you want to replace object or if you want to insert object compulsory the collection should be indexed wise collection okay collection should be index collection should contain index uh, set map and queue doesn't have index only list has index why they do not have index all the details we'll discuss in the next coming days so at this minute only remember one important point what is that uh, how many different operations we can perform on collection seven operations these seven operations by heart and remember try to see these seven operations daily in your real life wherever you go no doubt from the early morning you wake up to the till you are going to bed definitely you are going to see these seven operations without using the collection concept in your life you cannot uh, live in this world if you want you search okay right i am giving the bag school school children bag as an example you take your office you, when you are going to office you are bringing the you are taking laptop to your office then placing the laptop inside a bag is what adding object then after that now you are taking the purse inside a purse you are putting some money purse is a collection money is what objects then after placing money in the purse now you are checking how much money there that is what counting then after you cash the bus uh, inside a bus or inside a train whatever you are taking some money from the purse uh, buying the ticket so taking money from there nothing but retrieving first you are searching where is that 5 rupee note or 10 rupee note or 20 rupee note that is called searching after finding you are retrieving the 20 rupee note from the purse that is what retrieving okay not only just taking out completely you are removed the 20 rupees note once you buy the ticket 20 rupee note reference is removed from the purse that is called removing so searching following by retrieving following by removing will be there i hope you understand okay and then later now you have taken 20 rupees out ticket cost is only 10 rupees now the uh, ticket seller is given what uh, uh, 10 rupees return now you are placing 10 rupees back 
uh, that is called replacing 20 rupees with 10 rupees and this 10 rupees you are placing in the middle of the notes let us say that is called inserting. In your daily life every day every minute you are going to do these 7 operations please try to go through and remember all these 7 operations ok na right. So, this all about different operations performed on collection object I hope you enjoyed this session and practice remember by heart these points ok. In next session I will show you how to develop custom collection in the interview point of view that is very important. Nowadays in the interview room people are asking uh, what is a custom collection can you create your own collection. So, do not miss next session ok. I hope you enjoyed uh, subscribe to our Naresh IT channel for new videos and new technology notifications. Thank you take care bye bye see you in the next session. Thank you.